Continuing on my way to Niagara Falls with Ollie. He had a short nap. Now he's uh, got his head glued to his earphones and his iPad. Uh, anyway, uh, I want to talk about uh, three-year-olds right now and roll through them. Absolute euphoria. Very impressed with her mile the other night. Uh, and more impressed even at Georgian Downs. It means that she probably should and could go to Scioto Downs. Uh, starting very soon. So I'm going to reach out to Stacy, take a look at the results, where the numbers of 2, 3, 4 has been going, Phillies and Maris and Sayota. Should she be down there? I believe she should. Uh, she's come back great. Looks great. Dominic has done a tremendous job with this Philly, and she looked great the other night. Austral Hanover, uh, it's going to pour rain on Tuesday, but he's got to be trained. I am going to be saturated come Tuesday uh, for Austral Hanover, and uh, spit fire and qualifying insider trading uh, tailgate bus can hopefully train up one day uh, but all these horses got to be trained up for next Sunday in Philadelphia so we'll see how that plays out uh, brace for landing looks great Amy's got him maybe she's right I, I gotta call a spade a spade since we've castrated this horse he has done nothing but eat okay I'm only human I could be wrong Certainly looks like I am because he's starting to look really good. Uh, we're just jogging him right now. We'll probably only train him a couple of miles and put him into qualify right away. But I would like to take this time to maybe snap 50 or 60 pounds on him real quick uh, as we got him going in the right direction. Carter Michael Dio is swimming right now. Now, somebody asked me the other day about the x-ray. We did re-x-ray him. The line is healing in nicely. There's a little spot on the bone. Uh, Dr. McKee said that wasn't unexpected, not shocking. It does have to heal in. So he'll swim for the next four, four weeks. We'll re-x-ray. If he needs to swim for another couple of weeks or so, then that's exactly what we'll do. But for right now, everything is going according to plan. Carter Michael Dio is in the pool. Cash Deals, I talked about her a minute ago. We just bought her brother this afternoon, a yearling bro brother to Cash Deals by Marseille. Um, she's been awesome, and she's even money tomorrow or something. I don't know, somewhere. Uh, Coupe de Ville will race next Friday. Will I drive her? I don't know yet. We'll see who I drive um, next week. Cutie Cumber I thought was really good at Yonkers the other day. Very impressed with Cutie. Uh, Five Fish Species was uh, had a little filling in her check. She was a little concerned. Uh, Megan was a little concerned. The ultrasound, it was nothing. I said, you know, she get those offset knees. It's just blister her knees and blister her checks. Give her a week off and I'm sure he'd be fine. She got a splint that was a little reactive in that area too. That might have been the culprit all along anyway. So uh, we'll see how they, they address that. They did scratch her and she will be racing next week or within the next 10 days. Gandalf the Black, fastest mile of his life, 51 and a piece the other day. He was very good. Uh, horn player I thought was, I felt one of her best races of her life was the other day. I was really impressed with that filly. I liked the way she behaved, liked the way she moved. Her confidence is way up. I think she'll be much, much better moving forward. Major Megan. I haven't talked anything about Major Megan yet. I haven't seen her. I left her with Mr. and Mrs. Sheehan to race in the fair. I believe they were drawing today for the Kentucky Fair in somewhere. Um, you know, I had said to Mr. Sheehan, she only has one, I think, lifetime win. So whenever we're done with the fairs with her, we can bounce her around, move her over to Kentucky, or uh, or send her up to the race at Northfield, no matter if it's anywhere we want. The sky's the limit for Major Megan. I mean, they're not naming any stake races after her, but she's going to be a useful horse for us, I think, moving forward. Merchant Man was third the other day, but looked pretty good in racing. He's, he's destined to win eventually one of these weeks. Mopar Baby raced great again, finishing second in 55 the other day. Really, really happy with... Um, Really, really happy with her. My 1% threw in an odd break. I'm happy to say odd when I said he made a break because he had some breaking issues in the winter, but he's been lights out since he's been at Mohawk, but threw in a break the other night. I think uh, Dominic is going to race him in Georgian Sunday, Tuesday, something like that. Um, nothing but a dreamer. Another horse with an odd break, even odder than my 1% because he never, ever runs nothing but a dreamer, but seemed to roll off. Look like he might have stung himself and touched himself somewhere in the middle of the straightaway. I'm sure that's anomalous. Smoking hot Irish girl. Three in a row. Rare break for her the other day. She lost a shoe, though. We know what happened with her. She lost a shoe halfway down the backstretch and made a break. 
Uh, stay special. We're going to give her the summer off. I know maybe my partners don't want to hear that. I think she's going to be a really useful filly for us moving forward, but we need to get her. A, we can't keep maintain, 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 maintain. Eventually, it's going to be too hard to maintain her. Um, so I think what we need to do is just stop and say, okay, rest her until her knees are going in the right direction. Inject them with, you know, the, the medication that um, Dr. Tessa was using. Inject her knees. Continue to give her time off. If she's sound, put her in the pool even for two or three weeks. Although we don't have a pool now. Mike filled it in with cement. Put a aqua treadmill in it. So, and she might just go back to Ontario. Maybe that's what we'll do. Send her back to Ontario. Stall, rest, and swim there. It's very possible. Um, Steel Cowboy. Ah, I like this guy's got a lot of pop to him. He was so good training the other day. Made a few little shoeing changes with him. He's into going Kentucky on Tuesday. I'm as interested as you are. Yeah, I trained him the other day, but that's not racing. I want to see this guy race. I can't wait to see Johnny McDonald and Eric race him on Tuesday. I, I, I don't believe he needs a shadow roll, but he did look at a few things on the track. So I'm going to actually call Jason after that and ask him to put Born to Dance's old shadow roll, which is just a tiny one put that in the bag and, and uh, put that on him. Um, Swain Senorita is going to be in next Thursday in an overnight at Scioto. She was awesome her last start. Spitfire overseas wasn't awesome his last start, but he's been awesome this year. Can't wait to see him at Philadelphia next Sunday. I'm jumping over horses here. I went over Spitfire, back, Steel Cowboy, Swain Senorita. Now we're at Tactical Mounds. Tactical Mounds, uh, great mile, great miles for the last few. She was awesome last week, picked off by a freak. She raced good, and I expect she's going to continue to race good moving forward. Tailgate Buzz has been lights out, awesome, his last three. And he's coming into Philadelphia, just brimming with confidence. Can't wait to see him race. Um, race him. Warwi Yuri has been good, continues to be good. Lifetime mark the other day, two minutes. Good job by Mario with him. Uh, what a mission has just turned into an absolute sweetheart this year for us. I don't think he's missed a check. And I think he's only missed the board once. Or he was fourth. Of course, it's just been a, a real treat. And I can't wait to see how the rest of the summer turns out for him. So those are our three-year-olds. I'm going to talk about our racehorses in just a second. And then that's it. Your videos are done for the weekend. Um, lots ahead. Talk to you soon.